Yo, welcome back to the Red or Blue Pill channel, people. Today we're going through creepy TikToks that make you question reality. Don't forget to sub up, turn on notifications, and let me know your thoughts in the comments section. Okay, so the reason I started with this one, people, is because I noticed yesterday in the garden when I was looking at the sun, when the clouds got out of the way, this ring was around the sun, which I've never seen before. And I just noticed straight away it is also on video. So check your sun. Let me know if you got that ring because something weird's going on. Oh, and it's for entertainment purposes only, people. No, this is verified. Do your own research. Blue sky technology? And y'all gonna tell me that that sky is not fake? Where the fuck are we? It's the craziest shit DARPA has done. It's the Defense Advanced Research Projects Agency. Out of the um, D. Out later, of the right? D for defense, but it is the most powerful most secretive, most productive military agency in the world. Neil McElroy, he said, he went to Congress to get the funding and he said, this agency is going to create the vast weapon systems of the future. That is what DARPA does. They are always 20 years ahead of anything that you or I know. They right? were doing Neuralink in the 90s, right? They were doing, they are always yeah. doing things 20 years before yeah. you know about them because they do what is called blue sky technology. Blue sky right? research and technology, yes. yes. When it comes to this kind of stuff, like innovating weapons for defense and national security, that's probably the only thing, the only apparatus that exists that's doing unlimited blue sky because I mean, they have unlimited we, money. That we know of, look at NRO, the National Reconnaissance Organization, was created in 1961. No one knew it existed until 1993 when it was declassified. They're in charge of everything above, right? One of the guys I interview in nuclear war, Richard Garwin, who designed the thermonuclear That's bomb, it. drew everything the plans for well. Edward Teller, right? When Edward Teller couldn't figure out how to actually make the bomb explode, mm -hmm. Richard Garwin drew the design that allowed it to, right? He's 93. He was one of the founders of NRO. Did after 9-11, they hired science fiction writers, a couple of whom I interviewed, to kind of sit around a round table and come up with the craziest ideas they could, you know, of terrorist attacks and of surprise wow. attacks to then try to game out how they could defend against them, which is not a bad idea. The federal government is always playing not just chess, but like, you know, move the magic balls, right? And what's under what hat. And so things need to be hidden so that secrets can be kept. When the F-117 was retired, I went to the um, ceremony with Ed Lovick, the grandfather of stealth technology, right? And it was amazing. It was up there at Lockheed at Skunk Works, okay? And I just remember this one line, and I am paraphrasing, but they said, like, we created the F-117. It was like a 20-year project, you know, DARPA. Um, and for 20 years, I think there were 10,000 people cleared on the program. This is what the guy was saying that was giving this speech. And he said, and no one leaked it. And then he said, oh, correction. It was actually 10,000 people cleared plus Tom Clancy. Nice. Neuralink in the 90s. Can you imagine what they've got hold of that we have no idea about? It is scary. Technology in the wrong hands, not good for humanity. People need to who shout out these images, they need to ask themselves why does Israel, this tiny piece of land in the Middle East, have this ability to do what the hell it likes, can't launch 
while the rest of the world looks on. And not only that, arms them to support them in doing it. It doesn't take a brain of Britain or anywhere else to realize that this is not an accident. There's something about Israel and the Israeli government and the Israeli intelligence and military networks that means they don't have to live by the rules that anyone else does. Now, why is that? This is the question we should be asking, not calling people anti-Semitic for asking it, but actually asking it and demanding an answer. It's because the global cult is massively influenced in its actions and reactions by that which controls Israel, which in the end comes down to, certainly historically, the Rothschilds. And thus, they can do things that others can't do and get away with it. Everything you see is fake. It's all fake me ball. That's what I think. I think there is a war going on, but a war that we don't know about. Right, so this is really, really crazy. Look at this. Oh, first, this is a really cool website called Vintu Sky. You can see the temperature, clouds, wind speeds. We're going to look at waves. All right, now I'm, and you can look at it like historically. So this is the day after the solar eclipse that we had here. All right, and you can see the waves. If you just run your mouse over the uh, your mouse over the different areas, you can see the different colors <coughs> indicating the different wave sizes. So you know, nine foot here, five foot here. Um, what's bananas? Okay, we go over here. Let's get right, kind of where Antarctica is, and to where Africa is. Okay. And we're just gonna be moseying along through here. And right around seven o'clock, I want you to look what happens here. All right, these are some pretty big waves too, like 28 feet, that's huge, all right? 13, 13, 28. What pops up there? All right, back up, we're gonna start again. 80, <coughs> 83 foot waves. 83 foot waves, four o'clock, nothing. Two hours later, Kraken is here. <laughs> Godzilla has woken up, 83 foot wave, and it grows and grows. I thought maybe it was just a glitch you could hit at first. No, not only is it growing, you're you're seeing a like a system here that's moving, swelling, and it goes all the way until it hits South Africa over here, which you can see, city of Cape Town yet to quantify damage caused by devastating storm. Viral video of ocean in Cape Town amid bad weather has citizens fearing tsunami. And it was killing people, apparently. The wind is so strong in K-Town, it has reversed the tide. No waves. One's coming, that's for sure. Wow. That is bananas. It was like snapping trees down, apparently. Yeah, so what is that? <laughs> what is that? Why did that? What could have? Okay, I want you to think about this. This is Texas. This is Texas. What is Texas sized that could have possibly not been there at four o'clock? And then was there two hours later. Oh my word, what the fuck is this? These things are just falling out of the sky. What the hell? Can anyone please tell me what the hell this is? It's look like a fucking alien or something. 
notes on this earlier, but I thought it was 25 foot waves. No, 25.5 meters, all right? Over 80 foot waves. And I'm gonna show you how this lines up with scripture. I redid this post because I thought it was 25 foot waves, but 80 foot waves? That even makes it better, all right? The coming of the Son of Man. And there will be signs in the sun, in the moon, and in the stars. Look what we just saw, and the earth, the stress of nations with perplexity, the sea and the waves roaring. All right, so it's like the sea burped out this this uh, uh, area of, of 80 foot waves or taller, bigger than the state of Texas, okay? Men's hearts failing them from fear and the expectation of those things which are coming on the earth. For the powers of the heavens shall be shaken. Then they will see the Son of Man coming in a cloud with power and great glory. Now, when these things begin to happen, look up and lift up your heads because your redemption draws near. Amen. I made a post on this earth. In the hill, in the hill, get in here, boy. Y'all get in here. Y'all get in here, boy. I got some receipts for you. So as you can see, this list right here, if you go and take a screenshot, they say they was all right. But I have a secret document that only I have. Now you're about to have it right now that clarifies this. Now you see this document right here? Let's go ahead and take a close-up picture of this document. And as you can see right here, to all unelected corporations and government. And then you can read, but this is my thing. They filed it at the circuit court. Like regular people's? Chief magistrate of the court. So this is who you're following with. So that means you're not even a queen and a king, right? But they gave it to some dude named King John. I don't know who he is. When you get a chance, when you get a chance, when you get a chance, read this. And as you can see right here, our King John, right? You can read it. This is crazy. This is crazy. This is crazy. But go ahead and take a screenshot and blow it up. Go ahead and blow it up. Okay, I'm going to let you have a look at that and let me know in the comments section. Uh, my video yesterday is uh, demonetized. So uh, I've got to be careful, people, what I say. Uh, touchy stuff being brought up. Disguise can be so many different things. It's not just a mustache and a and a wig. Not at all. It can uh, and and you disguise things as in addition to disguising people. It's not just a person, and it's not just that person's face. It's quite broad and deep. It's it's um, addicting. You have said the key to it is that disguise is all of you and that confidence is the absolute essence of an effective disguise. You can, and I have, you could just hand a, you know, a, a handful of poorly made props to a man who, and was by the way, always a man who, um, who could act, who could get into a character, who could believe himself that he was this changed, poor disguise and carry it off. And you could you could spend ten thousand dollars on a disguise and put it on someone who couldn't wear it and you would see it immediately. So the way you wore it was just as important as any materials that we ever that we ever provided. There are historians of the CIA who referred to you as and they've used the James Bond movies as their as their analogy, the Q, the woman who was essentially the Q of the CIA for a number of years. Did, did you like that? It wasn't me that was the queue. It was the office that I worked in, mm. and it was the queue. We were the technical arm of the CIA, and more broadly of the intelligence community. And you know, today that's 17 different organizations. Not so many back then, but still, it was broad. 
what it was saying when it called us the Q is that we had the technical expertise to do almost anything. I'd like to take his, his face. As easy as that, people. As easy as that. You guys, you guys, what, what is this? What is that? I'm out here on my walk. I've cleaned my lens like seven times. I don't know why it's, it looks like. Am I tripping? What is that? Can someone in the comments explain, please? You got that is light off the sun simulator. That is all that is. It has been replaced. This lady just asked Alexa about the firmament, and I want y'all to hear what she said. Alexa, can anyone get through the firmament? From substack.com. NASA used high altitude explosives to try and penetrate the firmament and what they filmed of the operation was the result of their explosives creating massive watery wave propagation above them as they hit the quasi vitreous dome above the earth known as the firmament. So she said they tried to penetrate the firmament by sending high altitude explosives. Check this out, y'all. Johnston Island was the center of launch and experimental activity for the 1962 high altitude weapon effects testing termed Operation Fishbowl. At the northwestern end of the island was the Thor launch complex, joined later by Nike Hercules and Stripe units, plus a second Thor pad. On Operation Fishbowl, nuclear detonations went the sky five times. And this alone right here makes me firmly believe in the firmament. One, because all other cultures believe in a firmament. And two, there's literally an operation that goes by the name of Operation Fishbowl, where they sent those high altitude weapons in the sky trying to break the firmament. And three, I just personally believe that we do not live on a globe. What we see on Google, that shit is, is not real. And on top of that, NASA says that they believe in God, but at the same time, they go against their own Bible in Genesis, where it literally says that there's a firmament above us. But NASA wants to believe that we're on a globe. Doesn't make sense. Somebody's lying. Anyways, let me know y'all's thoughts on this video in the comment. I appreciate y'all for watching the whole video. And Crystal Jewelry is available on my website. The link is in my bio. I appreciate y'all. I don't know what's going on with Alexa, but <sighs> she, she's coming up with some crazy stuff. It's like a button's been turned. And she's just coming out with, apparently we're all going to die 8th eight, eight, eight of April. I don't know what that was all about. This stuff that's coming out. I thought all this Alexa stuff, I genuinely thought it was people just making it up. As in, they record Alexa, ask the question, and then somehow go over. But this is Alexa coming up with, or coming out with just bonkers stuff. Just telling you. This is a Maui update, and there's a bill being introduced today that uh, addresses the following. So the first is they want to establish a authority to develop plans to redevelop areas affected by disaster. Uh, the people of Lahaina are adamantly opposed to this because it brings people that are not from Lahaina into Lahaina um, in positions to to make decisions uh, for how they move forward. The second is the bill establishes an income tax credit to incentivize the voluntary relinquishment of property located in areas affected by disaster. That one speaks for itself. Um, and then the third and most alarming is this bill directs the attorney, attorney general to commit imminent domain proceedings. So um, this is interesting. This is a um... no serious country should be telling its children that they were born with the wrong gender, a concept that was never heard of 
In all of human history, nobody's ever heard of this, what's happening today. My Department of Education will inform states and school districts that if any teacher or school official suggests to a child that they could be trapped in the wrong body, they will be faced with severe consequences, including potential civil rights violations. I will ask Congress to pass a bill establishing that the only genders recognized by the United States government are male and female, and they are assigned at birth. No message to the British people. I'm talking to anybody with a British passport. I don't care if you're black. I don't care if you're white. I don't care if you're yellow. I don't care if you're green. I don't care if you're blue. I don't care if you're orange. It's clear to see if you don't live under a rock, we are under a tyrannical government. We are under a dictatorship. We are under totalitarianism. Because they look at us like peasants, useless peasants, useless eaters, poor mice, poor rats, poor roaches. And how they're able to do this is by divide and conquer. Divide and conquer is the oldest tactic known to mankind in human history. You divide them by their race, you divide them by their religion, you divide them by their gender. Like we've got people arguing over who's a woman and who's a man. All you need is 10 to 25 million organized militant men to turn up to 10 Downing Street and Caesar will stop what he's doing. He will stop what he's doing in Palestine. He'll stop increasing taxes. He'll stop trying to destroy the economy. He'll stop trying to make the pound valueless. He'll stop increasing rent prices. He'll stop increasing food prices. He'll stop what he's doing in Ukraine. He'll stop what he's doing in Haiti. Have you seen what's going on in Haiti? Haiti's being completely destroyed. They're all being killed because Haiti is the richest island on earth with the most valuable resources. Do you know that? You see what's going on in Palestine. You see what's going on in Ukraine. Like the whole world is in fire, is on fire. And the reason why we can't fight this is because we have no real men. When I say we go to 10 down the street, I'm not on about protesting, holding up cardboard boxes, asking for justice. I mean, real militant shit. And the reason why there are no men anymore is because they've emasculated men. They got rid of men years ago. They got rid of real men years ago. Most of the men today are being raised by women. And then you wonder why they're feminine. You wonder why they're lethargic. You wonder why they're low on testosterone. You wonder why they're low on everything a man is supposed to be. 1649, the execution of King Charles I. Execution of King Charles I, you lot. The British people were smart back then, so they united and they chopped his head off. They went to 10 Downing Street. They went to the Houses of Parliament. They went to Westminster Abbey. They fat, they, 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 and then they got his head chopped off because he was the, doing the same thing that they're doing today. High taxes. He was a tyrannical king. And we have a tyrannical king right now. And nobody's doing nothing about it, bro. Because we're, we're arguing about who's a, a man and who's a woman. And Divide and conquer. That is true. And it's not just the UK. It's all over the world. It's not, it's not just a UK thing. It is all over the world. Unite people. It's 99% strong. His point is pretty clear. Uh, and I like his point of view, in a way. And uh, that's what they're scared of, is the majority of the 99% realising what's going on. Because if that happens, they don't have control. They are severely outnumbered. But I think we're in a race. I think we're in a race against time, to the point where artificial intelligence can take on most of the labour work. And we are obsolete. We need to work out what's going on before they get to that point. Because... They're building bunkers for a reason. Seeing ice fricking everywhere. I'm not going to go through them all, but every one of the shots that you're going to see has got that in it. Look at them all over the bloody place. And this is feeding something into the subconscious of those who watch, overwhelmingly kids. Programming starts subconsciously from the earliest age. Like the, the Olympics in 2012, the one-eyed man. Here you had the Monsters, Inc. The, 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 the central character had a single eye and the monsters were feeding off the energy of children. It was their sustenance. And then you have this, this is un unbelievable again, the number of personalities who get photographed covering one freaking eye up in some form. 
I mean, look at it. And there's hundreds more seeing eyes freaking everywhere. Well, friends, I got some bad news. Uh, the Ukraine-Russia war is exploding. F around and find out. Well, that bear came out last night and took out their power plant. They didn't do it with drones like Ukraine did with the oil refineries. No, they sent the bombers that they were talking about was destroyed the day before with a drone attack. I think that was to send a message. Now, to make it even worse, there's buildings, automatic fire, and all kinds of crazy stuff breaking out in Russia. Whether this is Wagner Group, individuals, or a red flag, or Zelensky special ops stormtroopers, who knows? This one's been driving me fucking crazy lately. Minor attracted persons. <laughs> yes. Um, I saw two politicians in two different speeches talk about protecting minor attracted persons. You're talking about pedophiles. That's what we're talking about. Yeah. It, it must be that these people have no children. It must be. I don't know. If they do, they're monsters. This idea that you are going to minimize the harm caused by evil criminals who steal children's lives, ruin their lives forever. And you're just going to call them a minor attracted person and try to say that it's an identity to what, for what reason, to what end? Like, I mean, why would you want to do that? Would you like President Zelensky to do more on Joe Biden and investigate? No, I want uh, him to do whatever he can. If this was not his fault. He wasn't there. He's just been here recently. But whatever he can do in terms of corruption, because the corruption is massive. Now, when Biden's son walks away with millions of dollars from Ukraine and he knows nothing, and they're paying him millions of dollars, that's corruption. When Biden's son walks out of China with $1.5 billion in a fund, and the biggest funds in the world can't get money out of China, and he's there for one quick meeting and he flies in on Air Force Two, uh, I think that's a horrible thing. I think it's a horrible thing, but I'm going far beyond that. Uh, I know the president that I've read a lot about Ukraine. I've read a lot about a lot of countries. He wants to stop corruption. He was elected, I think, number one on the basis of stopping corruption, which unfortunately has plagued Ukraine. And if he could do that, he's doing really the whole world a big favor. I know. And I think he's going to. And then we know what happened after 2018. They've got a whole lot of money given to them. You're going to learn today. Did you know the secret behind Victoria's Secrets? Take a listen, family. Yeah, Victoria's Secrets. Victoria's Secrets. Have you asked where you buy your drawers? Why is it a secret? <laughs> you should ask that before you go back. Mm. Uh, it's a secret because Queen Victoria was a man. How many y'all know that? Okay? Wow. That's why I see. If I'm a man posing as a queen, I have to wear women's job. Mm. That's what the secret is about. Mm. And you older folks, you remember that King Cole? Shit, no. you think. He said, he said, you know, they just found out 15 years ago mm. that that was Da Vinci, he was a drag queen. How many y'all knew that? How many y'all knew that? I don't see. Yeah, you knew it, huh? See that? He was a drag queen. Uh, and and that cold didn't know he sang into a man. And the rabbit hole continues. This <laughs> all women. Apparently men. I don't know what's going on. But Dave Chappelle was decapitated in front of us. He made five hundred million dollars. They said even though his contract said he should get half of it. They said he made too much for the contract to be valid. You mean he made 500 million and they offered him 50? Yes. And he said, what do you think my fans are going to say? They said, your fans will believe that you're a crazy crackhead by the time you get home. After watching that, it really, really got me thinking. Because we know that most of these celebrities are into some weird stuff, right? But only a select few get exposed now we all know what michael jackson is known for or what he allegedly did look at this i generated several billion dollars for something several billion they never thought 
that this performer myself would out think them. So I own half of Sony's publishing and and I'm leaving them and they they're very angry at me because of it. Does anybody see where I'm going with this? The media pushed and pushed and pushed propaganda about Michael Jackson. Michael Jackson, the first Click. man to clone himself, is now suing himself or busting himself. What did you do with Shu? Scary you, movie I three. Swear. And there are literally countless examples of this. Michael Jackson is one of the biggest stars of all time. And with that comes influence that he would have on the people, right? And if he's not doing what they want him to do, their only option is to discredit him. Really makes you think about all the other celebrities that they had to discredit. Right. Let's look again at this. You cannot see the moon. You can see a shadow on the sun. Yeah, you still can see any anything. No, you can't see the moon. And then he slowly moves. He moves. He moves. He moves. Yeah, keep going. Boom. And he stops. Yeah? Why is he stopping? Why did he stop? And now he moves. And you still cannot see any of the moon. The moon was invisible for 48 hours. So no one saw the moon for two days. I'm telling y'all, that there is not real. So you want to get weird, but not too weird, huh? Well, something very strange is happening in the ocean. And the crazy part is, I'm going to tie some information into what I think it could possibly be, but this is all speculation. It's my theory, and that's all I can say. So, if you guys have not been paying attention, there is a huge mass the size of Texas moving through the ocean, right? They are showing this, whatever this is, nobody knows what it is right now, but it's up near Africa right now, and it's working its way all the way up to the coastline of New York. Now, Everyone on the app is speaking about this huge, just mass. So we don't know what it is. Like, what is this? You know, so something that big, what is it? So if you ever heard anyone say that you can get to outer space through the ocean, you ever heard anybody say that? Well, what if, <clears throat> and this is only speculation, <clears throat> what if, this huge mass, the size of Texas, working its way through the ocean is really some sort of mothership. What if it's a mothership, some type of, of spaceship that's coming through the ocean? Now, a lot of this stuff may seem out of a sci-fi movie, something weird, this could poss never, never possibly happen, but I want you guys to think about something. The technology that was used to build the pyramids, right? And other ancient artifacts, even to carve out, you know, Im images into mountains. Back in that time period, no one can explain that technology. No one can explain. There's a certain, um, um, what do you call it? Material that's not found on earth that could actually power a city that was found in Egypt as well. And no one knows where it came from. So you have these things that do not make any sense and no one can explain them. And then you have people saying that you can get to space through the ocean. And now we are seeing something come up that the world has never seen that big working its way through the ocean to get near New York. Open your eyes.
What do you think it is, people? I have absolutely no idea. But it's huge! <laughs> I'm telling y'all, something is not right. Can you feel it? Before we start, it's all alleged, all speculation, all my opinion. So I just got done watching my friend Colette's video where she caught the sun looking very odd and she believes we've been catapulted in the darkness. Now I'm about to show you her video in a minute, but when I was watching the eclipse the other day, a thought kept coming in my head and was like, something is in front of the sun. The eclipse looked completely different to me than did to anyone else's cell phone. So I was like, okay, yeah, that's pretty odd, until I watched her video on this. I will also prove to you, allegedly, that the sun we're looking at now is not the same sun we used to look at decades ago. And by the way, have y'all noticed it's been catastrophically windy ever since that happened? Along with a dark gloom over my head for days in a row. Along with CERN's Peter Higgs passing away on April 8th. So really quick before we dive deep, this was me recording the eclipse, and I kept thinking something was in front of the sun, and you can see the lens flares showing what time the eclipse was at, like what part was being eclipsed. But all I saw was this super huge bright thing, when everyone else, most people on cell phones, caught it being eclipsed, depending on where they were. You can see from the lens flares, it was almost a total solar eclipse at this point. And the sky was still bright. All alleged, in my opinion. And now let's go see what Colette was saying. You know, this is my backyard, here's the sun, and here's that ominous glow globe that we always get when we do videos, which is literally just a reflection of the sun that floats around, but it's a reflection of the exact sun. Imagine my shock and surprise when I zoomed in on it and I found this. Yeah, those are some whole geometric patterns. That is the reflection of that sun. And Bible prophecies are unfolding right before our eyes. The sun is black as hot cloth, the moon is not giving its night. We have to open the key to the bottomless pit, to open the portal. Apep is the enemy of the sun disk, and his mission, his job is to, well, devour the sun. Here's one of the pictures I got of the sun in the sun glare. That is the sun's reflection. Okay, and now, I discovered something even more eerie. Not only is its reflection got those geometric shapes in it, so does the sun. Look close. I tinked around with the contrast and the brightness. Now this is the sun you know if you're over 20 years old from a few decades ago. This was the sun we had. It was orange. It was not white. It was not LEDs. It was orange. This was recorded in 2000. Is it possible? The sun in the sky is not the real sun. I've showed y'all my recordings of the crescent powering the sun. And again, we had that crazy anomaly coming from Antarctica, allegedly, right? This just huge vortex of energy. This thing in the sky in China, like things are weird. And like I said, we've had nonstop windstorms for days ever since the 8th. And right now we're being bombarded by UFO footage. Bombarded by it. Like, there's something crazy that's allegedly about to happen. Allegedly speculation. And freaking, meanwhile, the Pentagon has been suggesting that there's an alien mothership in the solar system that could be sending many probes to Earth. I'm telling y'all, it gets deep. But what on Earth is the point of the mothership and the UFOs? This right here, it gets really deep. In a very, very, very old certain kind of Bible, it says that Jerusalem is the center of the world. Jerusalem, like this, Rufus Negra, or Mount Zion being in the center of the earth. But who lives in the center of the earth? Maybe whoever built this world for us just a couple hundred years ago who were building tens of thousands of square foot buildings with no bathrooms and no kitchens? Like I said, it gets deep. Stay tuned for part two. Until... <laughs> The world is bonkers. It is bonkers. Is that Angelina Jolie? I don't think she has her supply anymore. Why are so many Americans opting not to file taxes this year? Going back to 2017, the Internal Revenue Service does not exist anymore. I welcome any foreign agent who's representing this banking system to come to my house and extract the tax from me in person. Why is Steven Mnuchin, former film producer and Secretary of Treasury under Trump since, get this, 2017, still showing up on $100 bills? Mm -hmm. 
if Mnuchin is still showing up on the bills, then what else does that tell you? If Donald J. Trump is Stephen Mnuchin's boss, then Donald Trump is running the Federal Reserve right now. Let me talk to you. Once Nassara is fully activated and wipes out the Federal Reserve, the IRS, etc., who's ready for a new financial system purely backed by gold? The dollar demise declared by Trump. Aside from a revamped financial system, we can also look forward to this. The best is truly yet to come. Why are so many... Whoa, as a golden nugget for... A lot of us have been on standby this whole time that we've been on this planet until this time because it wasn't necessary until now for us to activate. Let me explain. So I said a lot of us have been on standby for the entire time that we've been on this planet. For this particular time, it was only, only necessary until now for us to activate reason I say that is this. Some of the strongest soldiers had to be hidden. Remember, um, and I'm not religious, mind you, but this story sticks out to me for this particular thing that I'm trying to convey to you. So remember in the Bible where it says that um, they hid Jesus away? He was hidden so that he would not, I mean, I'm sorry, Moses was hidden and he was hidden actually in Pharaoh's like palace, temple, kingdom, right? He was right hidden in plain sight, but even he didn't know who he was until it was necessary for him to activate. And so my point in bringing that story up is this. You were Moses. You've been here. The way that you can identify yourself with what I'm talking about is you're somebody that never had a lot of friends, maybe one friend at a time or uh, maybe just one best friend or but you've never even felt tight with the bestie. Right. That bestie never fully knew you. They thought they did, but they never fully knew who you were. And that is because of this. Um, oh, also, other ways that you would know. Excuse me. You're somebody that have so many interests that it's hard for you to even settle on just one thing. You don't identify with the role that you do. And if you do identify with the role that you do, you're probably not earning what you should be earning in that role um, because you're overqualified for it, being the jack of all trades that you are. You are probably um, feeling out of place majority of the places that you go. You're probably always uh, questioning, why am I here? Either on whatever scale that is, whether it's at that place or in that situation or on earth in general, why am I here? You've always felt the need to um, dig a lot. And constantly search for what is my purpose? Why am I here? Who? Why? Just why? You always want to know why. And you're never satisfied with whatever answer. I'm sorry. Uh, you're never satisfied with whatever answer it is that you received when you did go and search. Because like I said in the previous video, you are the solution. Um, you felt just completely out of place out of place until now where you're finding out oh my god it is other people like me in this world you're scrolling tiktok you're seeing uh your tribe like your family they don't even look like you they're the people that you thought you'd never connect to they're the people that they told you don't like you and won't mess with you and try to divide you from they're those people that you're connecting with, that you're finding that, wow, you really, you're cool. Like you cool people, you know, they're those people. Another one, you've probably explored many different religions, many, many different spiritual practices because you've been a, a seeker. You've been seeking, you've been searching You've been looking for what 
resonates with you. And you found that in each of those religions and each of those practices that you've reached out and explored and really, you know, gave your attention to, that it was at least one thing, maybe two things from each of those that resonated with you, but nothing, not one thing resonated fully where you stayed. So you've been a wanderer as well. And it's not for no no reason. It's all for a purpose. Hey, so today I experienced something that I've never experienced in my life before. It freaked me out. Thought I was crazy. Still haven't processed it fully. So, as I do every week, twice a week, I make deliveries to the same guy. I've been doing it for seven months. And it's the same guy every time I walk in. He's got a big garage with like a couple trucks in it. I walk in, I hand him his parts. We talk for a minute. He walk, I walk away. I go on my business. Today, I walked in, and he had his back to me, and he was working on his bench, and he must have heard me coming. I don't know, because I was actually pretty quiet, I thought, but when he turned around, I jumped and kind of grabbed my mouth like that because I didn't know what to think, and he laughed a little bit, and he called me jumpy. And, he's, and I was like, yeah, no, I'm just not feeling very good. And I handed him his part, and I was like, hey, I said, I got to go. The reason I reacted that way is because when I looked at him, he was different. He didn't look like the same guy I saw every other time. First thing I saw was he had no color in his eyes. They were completely black, like black, like you couldn't even see reflections. It was just a black mass. And for some reason, his ears were kind of weird and they had like this little point like that. I don't know what that was. <coughs> Excuse me. But then I was talking to my friend and he sent me an article about them saying that a new disorder that's coming out where people are starting to see demon faces in people and it got me thinking if they're putting something like that out could it be a disorder or is it god is actually letting people see demons and they're just trying to make it look like we're crazy i can't i still can't process it i can't I don't know. And like ever since the eclipse, it's, I find it funny. I, the clouds look different for some reason. I don't know what it is yet. I'm going to figure that one out. But that could be just me being dumb. The other thing I saw, like I have perfect vision. So I don't know what I saw. Um, if, if anybody else has ever seen this, can you please let me know because... I'm kind of weirded out right now. Hey guys, we're here at the um, inauguration. It's the most bizarre scene you ever saw in your life. <clears throat> There's like a hundred people at the Biden inauguration. <clears throat> and um, it's dystopian. So there's nobody here. There's like more people up here with the press overlooking the Capitol than there are at the inauguration. Uh, we're here with Fox News and CNN and <clears throat> this guy, great. This guy, Eric, is great from TBN. He's a Middle East correspondent. <clears throat> really great coverage. Uh, uh, Y'all ready? Check us out. This is with the Ray Ban Smart Glasses. Nikon P1000. Pretty cloudy out here. Let's see what we can get. Yep, 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 yep. Yep. Thank you. 
explain that one to me. Someone explain that one to me. You're telling me that you remember playing tic-tac-toe in the sky when you were a kid. You're a fucking liar. Every single day, every single day outside my house, it's worse than that. Every single day. That's interesting. The study that says we shouldn't eat animal-based diets and have meat um, funded by people who sell fake meat. It's genetically modified pea protein smothered in glyphosate and other neurotoxins that are banned in every other country in the world and also for good measure mixed with inflammatory canola oil. This is the playbook. Uh, you have the NIH saying that Cheerios um, are healthier than organic quinoa. You shamefully had the NIH uh, jointly with food companies saying that a diet 91% in ultra processed food was actually uh, healthy and nutritious. And you recently had a group of conflicted Harvard doctors uh, bashing a leading scientific journal for questioning ultra processed food. Rachel, this is all an effort that I saw firsthand by the food industry to convince us that ultra processed food, which is much more profitable than natural food, is healthy. And it's a bizarre world because the opposite is true. We're getting sick and the environment's being destroyed because of our farming process, uh, processes that, that, that give us ultra processed food. Yeah, that's so and ultra processed food is more profitable than natural good food that Looks like it's underground. There's a roof. It looks weird. I'm not going to lie, people. It looks weird. Let me know your thoughts in the comments section. What's that one conspiracy theory that people just can't seem to wrap their head around? Most people can't. Watch this. And I said, Dad, how interesting that you bring this up because right now the team and I are talking about plasma infusions and that some of the studies are looking at the effects on Alzheimer's and Parkinson's and other kinds of things like that. Okay, donating plasma, that's not like too weird. I did that a while back, right? I did that when I first got to college. It was a way to make a bunch of extra money. So cool, let's keep listening. And so I said, if you're interested, I'm happy to give you a liter of my plasma. And then my 70 year old son was there and he's like, hey, if you guys are doing it, I'm in. I'm like, great, we'll make this a family affair. What a cool family activity. Okay. And so my son- Sharing the plasma. Yeah, so my son gave me a liter of plasma. I gave my dad a liter of plasma. And the data showed that in me, there was no effect, that my biomarkers didn't change. But in my dad, his speed of aging reduced by 25 years. What, what was that? Your dad's, your, so your dad was 71. His age reduced by 25 years. Where have I heard this before? So he was aging at the rate of a 71-year-old. And after the plasma infusion and continued for six months, it lessened to a 45 year old. So with the plasma of his son, his age went from 71, the rate of his aging from 71 to 45. So his clock dramatically slowed down. His clock slowed down. So you mean he became younger technically. Okay. Interesting. Did and he, he feel better? He did. And his colleagues were saying, what's up? This is, you're, you're, you're hot. You're on fire. Why, what's happening? And it was plasma from his son. It's the only therapy that he did. Does it need to be a blood relative? No, it just blood typed. So it doesn't need to be a relative. So basically anyone with younger blood could technically, and apparently scientifically, it's been proven that their blood can help somebody else who is much older 
slow down their clock and become much younger. Okay, so now we're getting into the theories about taking the blood of children. Oh, Tucker, you dog. You threw it in there. Do you hear that? There it is. So it's just in a slightly different frame. Yeah. But, but there is a frame, to use your word, uh, on the internet of like super rich tech billionaires living forever on the blood of children. Super rich tech billionaires and old politicians, rich old politicians and other people. <laughs> <coughs> Obama. <coughs> yeah, this is that. Uh, yeah, so it definitely feeds into many of the of the. Um... Go ahead. You know you want to say it. Go ahead. Say it. There's a lot of theories about what happens behind the scenes with rich people. <laughs> There's a lot of theories. He said he wanted to say conspiracy theories because you know they're just conspiracy theories. And I'm just a conspiracy theorist. End of the show show, people. I hope you enjoyed it. If you're still here, appreciate it. Uh, make it to the end. Appreciate you watching. And if you haven't already, don't forget to subscribe, turn on notifications, and let me know your thoughts in the comments. Crazy video. Crazy video. Um, so, yeah, let me know your thoughts in the comments, people. On that note, have a good evening, morning, or afternoon, and I will see you tomorrow.